This is a survival guide to the Norwegian traffic. Who are the kings and queens of the road? <laughs> and who is the biggest loser of them all? And be aware, there is an emperor that will kill you all. Welcome to the Norwegian traffic. Norway is a big country with few people and we have huge distances. From where you live to work, shop and school, 87% of all households in Norway have access to car. So you would imagine that Norway is built for cars and drivers. But think again. As a driver in Norway, you are quite castrated and limited. We have the lowest speed limits in the world almost. Most of the time you drive between 60 and 80 kilometers per hour and in a city like Oslo here you have to go down to 30 kilometers per hour. And you, you can have some fun on the highways. Yes, because there you can go to 110, but that's not a lot of roads with that speed limit. We have actually very, very strict alcohol rules for you as a driver. You can only have 0.2% in your blood when driving. Half a pint. Well, not even that. So no lunch and drinking? No drinking, no nothing, not a wine, not a beer, uh, uh, eating, dinner and driving. Absolutely not. And if you are caught with more than 0.2% in your blood, you will have huge fines or driver license taken. And that can also be taken if they suspect suicide. So it's very strict. Yeah. And like Norwegians, if you drive a, a fossil car or on gasoline or diesel, well, then you are actually uh, kind of stuck in Norway because most of the cities like Oslo here, we uh, restrict the uh, cars on fossil fuel getting into the city. You won't find a parking uh, place. Uh, you have to pay the double uh, of other cars. You and, need to have a taxi. And you're actually not welcomed in Norway. If you're driving an electrical vehicle, well, then you can survive in Oslo. So cars not so welcome in Norway, and you're sitting there and you're so castrated and limited, so you want to honk the horn. Ah, that's a huge mistake in Norway. It's not a law, but it's a norm. Nobody honks the horn. Can you wow. hear? Can you hear anyone honking the horn here? Yeah, no. But it's no cue. No, it's, if it was a cue, it's I'm not allowed to show emotions uh, in your car either. But actually, it's getting worse for you as a driver. Just wait. The Emperor of Death. He, she will come later on. He honked. In he a was city. an expat. What? He honked. Well, he thought I was going up there, so no, it he, was an emergency. Was an the winner takes it all. So we met the losers, and who do you think are the winners? It's me. I have no driver license, I have no car, and I mostly walk or use my bike. I want to drive you over. Because in Norway, the traffic philosophy is like this. It's all about the weakest part. So I am a pedestrian and have no armor around me like a car. So I am actually... Untouchable. Yeah, kind of. All rules are favored for me as a pedestrian. What? Like soft targets or softies. So the softies in Norway runs the traffic. Upside down. Yes. But the softies uh, phrase is a bit complicated. It's not so easy because there are three softies. Pedestrians, of course, they have all rights. And then you have uh, bikes so this is and bikers course. like she. she. She, because there's no motor, yes, she's on wheels, but wheels are softies. So, I mean, you could have a, a child in your wagon and that will be a softie. So here you will see they are actually soft targets. And the newest softies in town is that electrical scooter, which you all have uh, around in your cities. And they are, actually they are classified as an, a small uh, motor wagon, and they are able to mix among uh, pedestrians and bikers. But they have limitations. They have, you have to be 12 years to, to use one of them. You have to be 
before you're 15, you have to use a helmet and the same alcohol rules as for cars. So that the electrical scooter is a strange software, actually. So this is complicated. Absolutely, uh, very complicated with these hybrids. But what's the consequences of uh, me as a pedestrian being a king for you as a driver in a car in Norway? <laughs> mm, you're gonna hate this. But someone gonna kill you as well. You forgot one. <sighs> yes, it's true. There's one emperor, she can really <laughs> kill me. And she has done that, actually. It She's very scary. It doesn't help with your but No, my feet, no, it doesn't. <laughs> and it's making a lot of noise. Yeah. It's evil. Uh, it's, it's, um, it's kind of scary. First time you're visiting uh, Oslo, for instance, or Bergen, where we have it. It's, yeah, it's, it's kind of scary. Are you afraid of it? Not now, well, I have to really be a bit occupied with her. Yeah. She's the only one I have to actually notice in the traffic. So, I'm a ha happy softies in the Norwegian roads and you are a miserable car driver, there you're sitting. Because you know, actually, for me as a softie, as a king of the road in Norway, I am only occupied b with the other softies like the bikers or those on the electrical scooter because they are kind of annoying and, and the fight is on the sidewalk in Norway because as a pedestrian I really don't give a shh in cars or buses and all of that because they just have to stop. That's the rule in Norway. So as you can see people don't care about the red light. It's okay to jaywalk in Norway actually. It's, they won't be fine, the police won't do anything, it's really allowed. And all of a sudden, a drunk uh, bicyclist. Yeah, because uh, softies, now I have to, like, you're not killed here. Because us softies, as I told you, no rules, no limits. I can be as drunk or whatever I want. And, and the bike, the people on bike, she can be really pissed. She can be really drunk. Oh, that's so good. Imagine you're a car and you're driving and you, you don't see and suddenly, doom, here I am, uh, just in front of you. And God forbid, if you hit me with that car, and it's my fault actually, because it wasn't zebra stripes. I can just hop in front of your car, drunk. dead drunk, you hit me. And guess who's got the responsibility? The softies. Guess who's going to pay the insurance? The softies. Guess who's going to go to jail if it's a really hard accident? So you have a diplomatic passport? Yes, I am untouchable. Even that hybrid, that uh, electrical scooter, you try to hit that with your car and you still have the responsibility. Why is it like that? All the countries the car is a bus. And yes, but this upside system actually works because we are at the bottom when it comes to traffic accidents in the world. You're a softie, I'm a softie, I'm on top of the world, you know? So you better walk or, or go on a bike if you come to Norway. So who's the winner and losers in your traffic? Leave us a comment. We love to learn about your country. But and you're not untouchable. You forgot your biggest enemy. I don't want to know about my death. There, there is an area where we are actually on the top when it comes to accident. I see I'm you gonna get reveal afraid that now. now. Shh. Are you afraid? Yeah. Actually, the real ruler, the death emperor, Are you who can afraid? kill us all. I'm a bit afraid, actually, because uh, I, I, I've been to some almost accident with her, and she's kind of tough. And she, yeah, she's kind of brutal, absolutely. And, and she can kill me, she can kill the bikers, and she can kill you in the car and in the buses and everything. She has the power. She has no rules and no exceptions. And she, if I'm drunk and I'm in the street, 
she wouldn't mind. She can just run over me and kill me. And here we have a problem. Ah! Ah! Sorry, folks. Bye. I'm done. <laughs>